Hello, this is John Rankin with the TEI International, TEII.org. This is the third of my series of the good news in the face of political evil, and also the third of five vignettes on the question, what about the hell of rape and incest in the face of the abortion debate, which I write about and much more in my book, Changing the Language of the Abortion Debate, available at johnrankinbooks.com. In the fall of 1989, I was invited to uh, be a guest on uh, a radio show uh, on WGAN Radio in Portland, Maine, the 50,000-watt superstation for northern New England. It was concerning pro-life, and the DJ was trying to poke away at my understanding. He also brought up the question of rape and incest, uh, and I answered it however I answered it. Not long thereafter, a woman called in, and the first thing she said was that she had been raped. She had at once in her life been raped. And at this moment, you could hear the stone quiet in the human souls uh, of those who were listening uh, to the radio show. Uh, this is the toughest question signaling phenomenal evil. How do I, as an evangelical pro-life minister, answer this question? And also being a white heterosexual male, six strikes and you're out on many campuses. So anyhow, uh, I, um, that was a, she said that, DJ uh, was most interested in what my response would be on thinking this might uh, pose a problem for me. Uh, but then she continued, and she said something absolutely astounding. She said uh, that she'd been raped, and then she said, and this man is the first man I, who's ever understood my pain, and in listening to him, all my hatred of all men has drained out of my soul. Uh, astounding. My, my answer to her was fumbling. I was, I was blown away. Uh, this is the good news in the face of, of political evil, since the politics of our country support such male chauvinistic evil. Indeed, the vast majority of abortions are men who get women pregnant and refuse responsibility. And rape is that much more serious of an evil, uh, a phenomenal act of dehumanization. If we want to understand good and evil, it's really very simple in the biblical witness to sum it all up. Whatever is good humanizes, whatever is evil dehumanizes. So this woman had been dehumanized, and she also shared further reality of that. She said, if you think uh, that it's uh, evil or terrible uh, to go through rape, just consider um, what it is to have a male doctor scrape out your uterus. So obviously speaking, it would seem in the experience of having had an abortion as well, perhaps being pushed through it. Uh, the point being, and if we step back here a second and consider, how much in the abortion rights movement today is the rape and incest question brought up as a silencer? That obviously, if we do not support abortion in the case of rape and incest, we must be evil. And here's the testimony of a woman talking about the double evil. And in my forum at Brown University, the question, does abortion unrape the woman? The evil is there, but does abortion unrape it? I'll share about that in another of my vignettes. And so, to what extent is the abortion ethos today marketed on the backs of raped women? And that's something I learned in that interaction. As well, apparently that show was so well received, I was told later by friends in Northern New England that it was rebroadcast many times, uh, and it was friends in New Hampshire and Maine who had heard it and who had contacted me. Thank you so much, and God bless.